Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to search for items in the Works library. I'm also going to show you how to create a smart collection that can quickly filter and display items in the library. Finally, I'm going to discuss some of the components you will use in the library. Let's go ahead and get started by first finding the items in the Works library. Go to the ECAT tab, and make sure you're using a collection called Web eCatalog 2014. It's one of the default collections created when you first install the 2014 product. In the search box, enter works. All items in the works library have this tag. For example, select one of the items displayed and view its metadata. Notice the item has a tag called works. This tag can be used to create a smart collection that references all items with this tag. Let's go and do that now. So I'll close the dialog and I'll expand the Collections pane. Click the Source button, which is located here, and select Add Smart Collection from the Context menu. This opens a dialog for setting up the Smart Collection. So let's start by first renaming it. <laughs> let's actually rename it Works Library. And I'm going to go and create now filters. Filters are kind of like save search settings. So my first filter, I'll say Collection is all models. So I'm referencing all items that are sourced in all collections. So basically all the items I can use in the application. I'll create a new field and now I'm going to use that tag property. So I'll say tag is works. And you can notice down at the bottom I have 29 matching items. I'll click save and this creates the Smart Collection. I now have a Smart Collection that references all items in the Works Library, including components, layouts, and files. Let's go ahead and minimize the view, so I'll click the Collections Expander here. And notice I'm now using that Smart Collection I just created. The layout I have displayed in the 3D world is actually a layout included in the Works Library. I'll scroll on down for you. And it's this layout right here, the Works Tutorial 1 Start. In this layout are several components in the Works Library, and I'll go ahead and talk about them further now. So right now in the 3D world, I'm selecting these gray bins. These are process components used for creating tasks or actions executed during a simulation. Whenever you use these components, make sure you have a task controller in the 3D world, which is this component right here. This component ensures that the tasks are implemented and executed properly. So this is a very important component, okay? Now, if you want to use a robot to perform tasks, use this component here, a works robot controller. I can select the robot, use the PMP command, and plug and play the robot to the controller. As long as a robot is within reach of a process component, it can be used to perform several tasks, such as pick and place actions. Okay, this concludes the video. Uh, if you have any more questions, please visit our community at community.visualcomponents.net. We do have several tutorials about the Works Library available in PDF format. Other videos will be made for the Works Library, so stay tuned for more of those. And I hope you have a wonderful day.